Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we're diving into a topic that's probably lurking in your kitchen right now, moldy bread. Before we get started, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more food facts and kitchen adventures. Now, have you ever wondered what happens when you eat that fuzzy green guest starring on your sourdough? Should you be worried about a little nibble or is it time to call the hazmat team? Stick around because we're about to break down the science behind moldy bread and why it's not just a harmless bit of extra flavor. Get ready to become a mold expert. You might be surprised by what you learn. Not all molds are created equal and some are more likely to pop up on your bread than others. These molds vary in appearance, growth patterns and even the conditions they thrive in. One common culprit is Rhizopus stolonifer, also known as black bread mold. This mold is notorious for its rapid growth and can quickly take over a loaf if left unchecked. It's the one with the characteristic black spots that can quickly spread across your loaf. These spots are often accompanied by a fuzzy texture, making it easily identifiable. Then there's penicillium, a blue-green mold that might sound familiar because it's used to make penicillin. This mold can appear in various shades of blue and green, sometimes with white edges. However, don't be fooled. The kind on your bread is not the same as the antibiotic. The penicillium mold on bread can produce mycotoxins, which are harmful if ingested. Another frequent offender is Aspergillus niger, which forms black powdery spots. This mold is often found in warm, humid environments and can spread quickly if conditions are right. You might also encounter Cladosporium, a green or black mold that prefers cooler temperatures, making it more common in refrigerated bread. This mold can sometimes appear as dark green or black patches, and Neurospora crassa, often called red bread mold due to its pinkish orange hue. This mold is less common but can still be found on bread that has been left out for too long. Regardless of the type, any visible mold on your bread is a sign that it's time to toss it out. Mold can produce spores that are not visible to the naked eye, making it unsafe to consume. Remember, even if you only see mold in one spot, it's likely spread throughout the loaf, even if you can't see it. Mold spores can travel through the air and contaminate other parts of the bread. Think of it like an iceberg. The visible mold is just the tip and there's a whole lot more lurking beneath the surface. Always err on the side of caution and discard any moldy bread to avoid potential health risks. Section 5. Not all reactions are created equal, from mild to moldy misery. Let's face it, we've all probably taken a bite of something a little past its prime. If you've ever accidentally ingested a tiny bit of moldy bread, chances are you didn't experience any ill effects. Our bodies are remarkably resilient and can often handle small amounts of harmful substances without much fuss. However, some people are more sensitive to mold than others. Those with allergies or asthma might experience respiratory issues, skin irritation, or digestive problems after consuming moldy food. Individuals with weakened immune systems are also more susceptible to the negative effects of mycotoxins. It's always better to err on the side of caution. If you experience any unusual symptoms after eating bread or any food with visible mold, consult a healthcare professional. Section 6. To eat or not to eat. Deciphering the moldy bread dilemma. You've spotted some suspicious spots on your bread. What's the verdict? Is it salvageable or is it destined for the trash? Here's the cold, hard truth. If you see mold on your bread, it's best to discard the entire loaf. Even if the mold is only visible in one spot, its microscopic roots, called hyphae, have likely spread throughout the bread. Cutting off the moldy part won't eliminate the problem. Remember the iceberg analogy? You're only removing the visible portion while the invisible toxins remain. Plus, mold spores can easily spread through the air, contaminating other food items in your kitchen. So, when in doubt, throw it out. Your health is worth more than a few slices of bread. Section 7. Bread Preservation 101. Keeping your loaf lovely. In this section, we will explore the best practices to ensure your bread stays fresh and delicious for as long as possible. Now that you know the risks of moldy bread, let's talk about prevention. Mold can ruin a perfectly good loaf, but with the right techniques, you can keep it at bay. Proper storage is key to keeping your bread fresh and mold-free for as long as possible. The way you store your bread can make a significant difference in its shelf life. 
Here are a few tips to extend the shelf life of your loaves. These simple steps can help you enjoy your bread longer without compromising on taste or texture. Store at room temperature. Contrary to popular belief, refrigerating bread can actually make it go stale faster. Room temperature is ideal for maintaining the bread's natural moisture. The cool, dry air inside the fridge draws out moisture from the bread, making it tough and chewy. This is why bread stored in the fridge often loses its softness and becomes hard. Use an airtight container. Keep your bread in a bread box or airtight container to prevent air exposure, which can speed up the staling process. Airtight containers help maintain the bread's freshness by locking in moisture. Freeze for longer storage. If you don't plan on eating your bread right away, the freezer is your best friend. Freezing bread can significantly extend its shelf life without sacrificing quality. Slice the bread before freezing so you can easily thaw individual portions as needed. This way, you can enjoy fresh tasting bread whenever you want without having to defrost the entire loaf. By following these simple tips, you can enjoy your bread at its best and avoid the unpleasant surprise of moldy surprises. With proper storage, your bread will stay fresh, tasty, and ready to eat whenever you are. Section 8. Beyond the Bread Box. Mold Management in Your Kitchen. Mold is a common issue that can affect various areas of your kitchen, not just the bread box. Mold isn't just a bread bully, it can affect a variety of foods, from fruits and vegetables to dairy products and leftovers. Here are some general tips to prevent mold growth in your kitchen. Keep it clean. A clean kitchen is your first line of defense against mold. Mold thrives in damp environments, so make sure to clean up spills and crumbs promptly. Wipe down surfaces regularly with a vinegar solution, which is a natural mold deterrent. Regularly wipe down surfaces with a vinegar solution, a natural mold deterrent. Don't overcrowd your fridge. Proper air circulation is crucial for preventing mold growth. Proper air circulation is crucial for preventing mold growth. Avoid overcrowding your fridge, as this can trap moisture and create a breeding ground for mold. Avoid overcrowding your fridge, as this can trap moisture and create a breeding ground for mold. Check expiration dates. Always check expiration dates on food items and discard anything past its prime. Always check expiration dates on food items and discard anything past its prime. This helps in reducing the risk of moldy food contaminating other items. Remember, best by dates are guidelines, not hard and fast rules. Trust your senses. If something looks, smells or tastes off, it's best to err on the side of caution. Trust your senses. If something looks, smells or tastes off, it's best to err on the side of caution. Regularly inspect your pantry and fridge for any signs of mold. A clean kitchen is a happy kitchen and a mold-free one. By following these simple tips, you can keep your kitchen fresh, clean and free from mold. Section 9, a final crumb of advice. Trust your senses, not your wallet. We've all been there. Staring at a partially moldy loaf, trying to convince ourselves that the moldy part is just extra flavor. But let's be real, folks, it's not worth the risk. Your health is far more valuable than a few slices of bread. So the next time you encounter moldy bread, don't hesitate to toss it out. Remember, you're not wasting food. You're preventing potential health problems, and that's a decision you can feel good about. Trust your senses, not your wallet, and stay safe in the kitchen. Section 10, stay curious, stay safe. Thanks for joining us on this moldy adventure. We hope you found this information helpful and maybe even a little bit entertaining. Remember, knowledge is power, especially when it comes to food safety. If you have any questions or moldy mysteries you'd like us to solve, drop them in the comments below. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more food facts and kitchen adventures. Until next time, stay curious, stay safe and keep your bread mold free.